say y'all don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you because I love black men so much. Stop wasting your time with black women. Stop. They not loving you. They not listening. They not willing to submit. They think they too independent to be submissive and be equal and be a companion and be a comforter and bring you peace. They think they too good for that because they mama told them to go get them a man with some money since they knew how to talk and walk. Go get you a white woman. She's going to get money, have good credit, come with a house and, and land and, and still be submissive. Go get you a white woman. Still be submissive. Sure is. They still going to submit and still treat you and love your dirty jaws. Love you on your sweatiest day. And not talk about you to her uh, other caring friends. She's not going to talk about your business. Go get you a white woman. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. Listen, go get you a white woman. These black helpers don't appreciate you, you black king. Y'all don't want me because I'm too loud. Y'all don't want me because I'm too oversexual, but I'm submissive. I got my own money. I got my own this. I got my own that. I ain't got no fucking um, um, sense. But <laughs> go get you a white woman. So I guess we're going to get into the complete obvious um, about this video. You have a black woman that decided that she wanted to tell black men in general that, hey, you need to go out there and get you a white woman because she is going to appreciate you better than black women. This is something that I would have never thought I would have ever seen um, ever in life. And I get a lot of people are going to say, well, she just hates herself. Um, it's a lot of self-hate. It's a lot of... Uh, things going on, you know, internally with her not liking her skin and all of these things. She she thinks that somebody else is better and all that. Already, we already know what people are going to state, right? Now, let's look at it from a different perspective, shall we? Now, let's take the one color directly out of there, right? Now, what if she's just simply stating that black men need to go and attach themselves and specifically look for a woman who is going to love them for them, no matter what two jobs they work, no matter what their bank account is looking like, no matter what car they drive, uh, the type of house or how they look body wise or different things in nature. What if she is just stating, right? Because at the end of the video, remember, she said that she doesn't have any sense. So very easily, you could potentially look at her words from a different perspective. Black men go for and look specifically for women who are going to actually love you for you, right? And that can just be in general, or you can make it very specific to basically state that, hey, black men, instead of looking for the, you know, the usual suspects when it deals with black women, Look for the ones that are actually interested in you. Look for the ones um, that want to build, that want to work with you. Look for the ones that believe in a partnership, that actually believe in a relationship, that believe, you know, that, you know, two people basically make a whole, which means that you got somebody over here doing 50 and you're also doing your 50. Right. Because, again, we, we have a, a lot of talk online where a lot of people make it seem as though in order for a relationship to work, somebody has to do 100 percent. And the only person doing that 100 percent is men. Right. They state that the man needs to do everything specifically for the woman. He needs to build a vast fortune. He needs to build several houses. Uh, he needs to have a IRA and all of these, you know, other types of things in order to make a woman comfortable. Right. And then when you look towards the other side, a man investing and in doing all of those things, in a sense, what is that man getting in return? Probably little to nothing at all. And a lot of people would happen to say, well, that's that guy's fault. He specifically picked that woman. Or we can look at it as the aspect of this. You have a lot of women out here that are just selfish, that want to be babied. You have a lot of women out here that are in the gimme, gimme, gimme type of immature mentality. And they feel that just because they're a woman, they deserve all of these great things. When realistically, that is not the case. What should be the case is that a person's character determines how it is that the person is treated, how it is that the person is loved, how it is that the person is valued, how it is that the person is looked at. 
On top of just the character, you also have the aspect of a woman understanding what a relationship is and understanding and understanding that it's a symbiotic type of relationship, meaning that there's a give and a take. It's a yin and a yang. It's not just you being a woman and you're just sitting there looking pretty and just take, 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 take up until there's nothing left to take from the man. And then you decide to pretty much up and leave. Right. That's not a partnership. That's more of a parasitic relationship where only one person is, you know, able to to win and get something from this while the host pretty much is going to be deceased and gone and, you know, discarded when everything is said and done. So, again, I, I get the aspect that people are going to state. I get the fact that people are going to say that she has a lot of self-hatred. She has a lot of uh, mis. Um, education, that she doesn't know her history. She doesn't love herself. Who really raised her, right? We're going to say the usual things, but that's the problem. A lot of people like to say the usual things and not look at it from a different perspective to get a different understanding. So, you know, hopefully again, right? Everybody is free to believe and perceive the message you know, how you would like to perceive it. Again, I just gave you my example of how it is that I decided to specifically look at it. I took the color aspect directly out of there and I just dealt with the words that are in a sense there. You have a black woman stating that black men are in a sense getting mistreated, not being valued, not being respected, being disrespected, being emasculated. And she is simply stating that, hey, black men, Just deal with and find women out there that you could uh, potentially build with somebody that's going to value you, somebody that's not going to demasculate you, somebody that's going to invest, right? Somebody that is uh, going to be there for you emotionally, right? But, you know, like I said, this is a video I never expected. I never expected a day and a time where you would actually see a black woman on social media saying something to this effect. Never would have ever thought that I would have seen anything like this because I'm used to the reverse. I'm used to uh, black women basically stating this same thing to other black women out there and telling them to get away and exit away from black men. So like I said, it's 2024. There is a first for everything. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment description below.